The end of the world's longest modern war is in sight. In a country with a long, bloody history of failed peace accords, there is no underestimating the potential benefits. Economists say peace will be the oxygen for investment and growth, and a magnet for tourism. But it is not a done deal. La Paz. This peace accord is not just with 8,000 guerrillas. That would be relatively easy. The problem is taking more than a million people who live from growing coca, from drug trafficking and other illegal activities, and bringing them into legality, allowing them to vote, have a title to land, credit so they can produce something legal. It's like the Wild West in much of Colombia. In northeastern Arauca, people are keenly aware that the end of Colombia's oldest armed conflict does not mean that the guns will be silenced. There's another insurgency group, the ELN, or the National Liberation Army. People on both sides of the Arauca River, which separates Colombia and Venezuela, tell us that many of the rebels have their camps over there on the Venezuelan side, where the Colombian army cannot go after them. While smaller than the FARC, the ELN has been stepping up attacks. This charred truck was stolen and used to launch 21 homemade rockets at a nearby military base. One of the many reasons why Gloria Tamayo expresses deep-rooted skepticism. Peace? I don't think I'll see peace in my life. Not until I die and go to heaven to rest. That's when I will see what peace is. Cost of half a century of war is incalculable, but establishing long-lasting peace will be costly. Just the reparations for the 7 million victims will be very high. The calculation is between 10 and 15 billion dollars. This will not be a short process. There are many obstacles, from the need to address the social injustice that feeds the conflict, to the fear of revenge killings against the demobilized rebels, whom many regard as narco-terrorists. But in the short term, the biggest challenge is convincing the majority of Colombians to approve the peace accord in a referendum, without which there is no deal and no chance to take a giant step towards peace. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Arauca, Colombia.